This is Molly Burden. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. It said, if you want to know the truth, follow the money trail. So it's also said that a lot of people with phobias and fears that have had past life regressions. And for instance, maybe they have a fear of water and they find out that they drowned in a past life and that sets them free. So they're no longer afraid of water. So I decided to have one of these past life regressions. I got one for my daughter, for her boyfriend at the time. And I wanted to know why my mother and I had kind of a tough relationship. And I'd also been living in this house for 25 years that I felt blocked. I couldn't seem to figure out a way to move out of. Well, after I had that past life regression, I moved out of that home. So for me, the block was cleared once I found out what I needed to know. Brian Weiss, or Weiss, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, he wrote a book called Many Lives, Many Masters about reincarnation and he had done past life regressions with people. And there are children that can go into detail about places they've never been to that they say that they've had past lives in. So a long time ago, there was a man that invented the calendar, Dionysius Exegus. And we've come to find out that that calendar was wrong by six years that Jesus Christ was born six years earlier than he said. So that whole calendar is wrong, but we're just going to use that calendar because that's what we we're stuck with right now. So 553 AD is a long time ago. And that is when reincarnation was struck from the Bible. It used to be in the Bible. But once again, follow the money trail. And what you find out is that there was a ruler called Justinian and his slaves were committing suicide in mass numbers because they believed that they were just going to reincarnate again. So he believed that if he could get them to believe that if they didn't believe in reincarnation and that if they did believe in reincarnation, they would burn in the fires of hell. So that's why that was introduced and they had to get rid of reincarnation to control the masses. So they all came together, all the rulers from back then, and it was reincarnation was officially removed from Christian doctrine during the fifth ecumenical council in the year 553, also known as the Second Council of Constantinople. The council was evoked by the Emperor Justinian and the Empress Theodora to decide what were to be acceptable Christian beliefs and practices. Although many people claim that a certain council took the teaching of reincarnation out of the Bible, they most frequently refer to the Second Council of Constantinople, A.D. 553, and the Council of, it's spelled N-I-C-A-E, A.D. 325. So later, they also said that you would be declared a heretic. They had this man named Oregon. He wrote from 185 to 254. The church burned his writings on reincarnation. And another person named Basilides in Egypt wrote on reincarnation. They burned his. They spent 20 years burning anything they could get their hands on almost 2,000 years ago. They had to burn everything on reincarnation. But they couldn't get rid of everything. They, they had a dilemma. The church had a dilemma because in the book of Malachi, in the Old Testament, it said that Elijah must return to this world or there would be no Christianity. And then they wouldn't be in business anymore, would they? So they had to leave that. 
And then in the book of Matthew, Jesus said, John the Baptist is Elijah who has returned. So those two things they couldn't get rid of or they wouldn't have the money-making Christianity that they were trying to protect. So it's interesting history that a lot of people don't know about. So what do you think about that? That at one time, reincarnation was part of Christian doctrine. But because the slaves were committing suicide in mass numbers, they had to stop them from believing in reincarnation and make them believe they would burn in hell if they did believe in it. Drop in the comments what you think about that. If you've heard of that. So I will put in the description the book by Dr. Brian Weiss, Many Masters, Many Lives, Many Masters. I read that a long time ago. And it is interesting. Have you had any experiences, any interesting experiences around past lives? Any deja vu? Some people believe that we travel through many lives with families. For instance, we had a family in a past life and then we come into this life with that same family. But perhaps in the past life you were the father and now you're the son when you come into this life. And there are other cultures that still believe in reincarnation. But we're not going to cover that here today. We're just going to stick to this topic of how everything was changed to control the masses. And a lot of people don't know that today. They think that it was always the way that it is. So like I said, most questions can be answered if you follow the money trail. Money equals power. And they, weren't, they were rolling in money at that time in 553 AD and they weren't about to give that up. So they gathered the council together and they took out and decided what kind of Christian doctrine was going to be kept to control the masses and stop the people from committing suicide. Like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you tuning in. And let me know what you think about this. What are your thoughts on this? Do you care? Do you not care? I'd love to know. Drop it in the comments. And thank you for tuning in. <music>